Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Youth Man. I bet you didn't know it, but speakers are sensitive. And in this video, we're going to talk about why. But before we get into the video, if you're into home theater, audio, and video, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right, guys, if you've been following the channel, you know that I've been reviewing the Klipsch RF7 version 3s as well as the SVS Ultra Towers. Now, originally I had the Eclipse RF7 III's in the theater room and the SVS Ultra Towers in the living room. And so after reviewing the Eclipse, I wanted to bring the SVS in here to find out how well do they perform for movies. Now, before I rerun Odyssey, I wanna talk about speaker sensitivity. Now, if you look at the specifications of a speaker, you'll see a line item that says sensitivity and it'll give a number, let's say 89 dB. Basically what this means is the manufacturer took a microphone, something kind of like this mini DSP UMIK-1 microphone. So they'll take a microphone and they'll place it one meter or three feet from the speaker and they will feed into that speaker one watt. Then they take a measurement of how loud the speaker performs when they feed it one watt with a microphone being placed one meter from the speaker. And so basically what this tells us is how efficient is the speaker at handling wattage. So the higher the sensitivity, the less wattage that you have to equal the same volume as say another speaker that has a lower sensitivity. So let's take two speakers for example. Let's look at the Klipsch RF7 III's and compare that to the SVS Ultra Towers. So if you look here at the specs for the RF7 version 3, if we scroll down, we see the sensitivity is 100 dB at 2.83 volts at one meter. So the Klipsch RF7 III will reach 100 decibels on the dB meter when a microphone is placed three feet from it and fed one watt. Now, if we look at the SVS Ultra Tower specs, you'll see that the sensitivity rating is a lot lower at 88 decibels, 2.83 volts at one meter. Now a higher sensitivity rating doesn't make one speaker better than the other. What it does mean is that you don't have to have as much power or as much amplification to drive that speaker to the same volume as say another speaker. Now it could save you some money because you don't necessarily have to have a power amplifier or a high wattage receiver. You could get away with having lower wattage and still achieving the same volume. Now, of course, if you add an amplifier to a receiver and just use the receiver as a preamp, you're gonna get a lot better sound out of a dedicated amplifier than you will typically with the internal amps on a receiver. So as you can see here, I've got the SVS Ultra Towers hooked up with the SVS Ultra Center and also a pair of the SVS SB16 Ultra subwoofers. And what I wanna do is I wanna take you into the Onkyo menu to show you I haven't changed any settings since having the Klipsch RF7 version 3s hooked up in my theater room. And so I wanna show you the difference on my dB meter, what happens when you have a speaker that is less sensitive than another speaker. So let's jump into the menu. So here we are inside the Onkyo's menu. We're gonna come down to speaker setup. And then I'm gonna go down to level calibration. Now before I go into the level calibration, I wanna say a couple of things because once we go into it, it's gonna be hard to hear my voice because of the test tones that it's gonna be playing through each speaker. Previously when I had the Klipsch RF7 version 3s and the RC64 version 3 in the home theater and I ran Odyssey, Odyssey set the front three speakers to negative six decibels. It adjusted the rear surround so that all of those speakers were level matched. And I also used my Radio Shack decibel meter to verify those were accurate. So now each one of those speakers are playing the same volume as each other. But what we're gonna find is once we get into the menu, I'll show you on a decibel meter how much difference sensitivity makes on a speaker and how much lower volume the SVS Ultra Towers are going to play in comparison to the Klipsch RF7 version 3s. Again, this doesn't mean that one speaker is better than the other. You just have to realize with a speaker that has a lower sensitivity, 
you're going to need to feed it more power to get the same volume as a speaker that has a higher sensitivity. So let's go into it. We'll take a look. So as you can see here, the left channel is set at negative 6.5 decibels, the center channel at negative 6.5 decibels, and the right channel at negative 6.5 decibels. If I come down to the surround, the surrounds are at negative 4 dB, negative 4 dB, negative 4.5, and negative 4. And both subwoofers are set at 0 dB. Now the reason why the surrounds are at a different level than the front three speakers was because the front three speakers have a higher sensitivity than the surrounds. So the receiver has to compensate for that by adjusting the trim levels. So let's take a look on a decibel meter to see how loud the surround speakers are in comparison to the front speakers. So here I have the Radio Shack meter set to C weighting, fast response, and I've turned the dial down to 80. So you can see right now, the level of the subwoofers is playing about 75 to 78 decibels. So I'm gonna go back to the surround speaker. I'm just gonna hold this straight up. So as you can see, the surround is playing at 75 decibels. So now when I go to the front right speaker, you can see that the decibel meter isn't moving. So to be able to see what the level is, I need to go down further on the dB meter. So I'm gonna switch this to 70. So you can see the front right speaker is actually playing at 69 decibels at volume, while the surrounds are playing at 75 decibels. So that means we're gonna to need to increase the trim on the Onkyo receiver until we get to 75 dB on the SPL meter. So let's go ahead and change it back to 80. And I'm gonna increase the trim from negative 6.5 until I get it up to 75 dB on the meter. So you'll notice I had to increase it from negative 6.5 to zero dB to get the same volume as the surrounds. All right, so now I'm gonna go back through each one. I'm just gonna cycle through them real quick and just see if they're pretty close. So let's look at the dB meter. We'll pull out the Onkyo. Let's go back into the menu and we'll hit level calibration. So hopefully through this video, you can see how the sensitivity of a speaker affects how loud a speaker will perform given the same wattage from an amplifier. Now once again, a higher sensitivity doesn't necessarily mean that one speaker is better than the other. It just means that you don't have to have as much power to get it at the same volume. That's one thing I do really like about clips is that you can crank them and get them very, very loud with a lot less power. Now I love B&W speakers, I love the way they sound, but one thing about B&W speakers is they have a low sensitivity rating, which just means you've got to feed them a lot of power to help them to reach their full potential. Well guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested in other Dolby Atmos videos, I've got a playlist right over here that you may enjoy. You guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.